All right, sorry about the delay there, folks, but I believe I am up and rolling now, so sorry about that, guys, and welcome back to ESCA Pro League. This is live now on ESCA 2. My name is Blue. I'm here really quickly to showcase the second game here for you tonight. It's a method of taking on Cloud9. It's already started due to, of course, having that update, so there was a little bit of chaos getting the, uh, was a little bit of chaos getting the server up and started and everything, but I think we're good now, and obviously, again, we're sitting here currently 0-2 in favor of Cloud9 at the moment here, and they are going to be taking on Method. So, although Nifron go off, and I believe Method won that, so we'll see them starting off here on the CT side, and Cloud9, of course, on the T side already, and doing pretty good. As we can take a look and see here, currently in the third round at the moment, stuck down to a 2 versus 4 mainline, and Justin still up at the moment, but unfortunately trying to hide and keep themselves alive as Cloud9, for the most part here, have been dominating pretty heavily, and yep, I realize the music is on, folks. Let me clear that off for you really quickly. Didn't have time to get everything up and rolling, but there we go. Should be solved now. Apologies for that. And once again, now we are going to see Cloud9 taking that, and we're going to head into the first buy round here for Method, see what they're going to be picking up. Silent going to go right for that op. Of course, big opper here going to be Silent. We've seen a lot of cool plays from him. Going to be probably a little bit in unfamiliar territory, considering things here are still on train at the moment, and train overall here is still a fairly new map for a lot of these teams. Method, of course, has been around for a little bit, but have been swapping players here and there, so we'll see, of course, how strong they are. They are on the CT side, and some would like to say that oftentimes that this map can be somewhat CT sided, but of course, considering the limited amount of play we've had on it. We're not really sure of that yet, and overall here, though, if that is the case, Cloud9, of course, put themselves into a very good position to start things off. So now you are going to see two Cloud9 players push themselves into the back of B right now, slowly trying to work themselves any picks they can grab onto that site. Nothing too big coming out of that just as of yet, but as you take a look at that, I'm sure that we'll now see them start to back up. Taking a long time here to make the play as they're sort of spread themselves around, and I like what Method's doing here, though. Method, of course, already down three points. Not really going to be overextending themselves as of too much yet, just trying to stay behind cover and force the Cloud9 players to expose themselves, so it looks like things are lining up to push themselves over up by Ivy right now, and it's going to be nothing now. Leading the charge over here, fortunately smoked off. We'll only possibly be meeting Streber here in just a second as Streber peeking around the corner, but that's going to be a nice smoke from Cloud9 to block things off. They're also going to flash him, and now he has to fall back here, but still sticking his ground, and he's going to poke out, see if he can grab anything at the moment. Ely's going to be able to take out nothing. Shroud also will eliminate Ely, and Streber's trying to find the shots, puts a lot of damage on a Freakazoi, but it's not going to be enough to actually take him down just as of yet here now, and we'll see him fall back again, playing things very safe, but again, Cloud9 making their way into the site, doing a lot of damage here now, and Streber's going to be able to take out Sean Garris, so it brings it all down to Freakazoid now. Hiding behind the corner with an AK, about to come up against Mainline here, but he sees them, falls back, only five seconds left in the round, so he's just going to try to get that bomb down, get the money, and here comes Mainline now, the bomb not going to go down, and Method's going to take the very important gun round here, of course, and that's going to be a big take for those guys as we start to get things rolling here, and I'm trying to adjust the mic as well, guys, once again, apologies for the issues with my mic, as I think, hopefully in just a second here, I should be able to make the level more acceptable, let's see... Finish that off, and I think that that should be okay. Let me know, guys, in the chat if things are still a little high on the end with my mic, and I can probably try to crank it down a little bit more or turn the game volume up, hopefully, but I had to set things up pretty quickly, so we're going to go now, though, and let's get back into the swing of things. So now coming off of that first loss there for Cloud9, we're still going to see them, of course. They saved up quite a bit of funding here. Still quite a few players alive after the third round, so they're still going to be able to force buy, or not really force buy, they're still going to be able to buy into the next round, but after this one, if they lose again, things are probably going to get a little bit rough, and we'll see the buys start to lighten up from these guys quite a bit. Now we're going to see here, too, just a be. nice shot from Skadoodle there, and of course, a little bit of assistance from Silent as we did see some team damage coming out, but that's going to eliminate Ely. And now we'll see where the play will move from there. The rest of Cloud9 still camping just outside of their spawn. Trying to decide if they want to work inside of A main to get themselves into the train yard yet, or if they're hanging back. But they're setting up smokes for A now, so we'll probably see them move their way into the site in a second. Method's ready to go. They've got three players in the general vicinity, and Mainline is ready to rotate in if he should be needed. But at the same time, now you'll see those smokes going in. And Skadoogle will be leading the charge now with Freakazoid here, as they're going to try to get themselves into this site. Nice shot from Silent. He's going to be able to take out Freakazoid. And then from there, we are going to see where these two will move in. Taking a look at Silent's point of view now, is he's pushing forward just a little bit. Skadoodle, however, grabs that nice shot. He's going to take out Justin, but Silent immediately responds. Can he grab Sean Garris? No, it bounces off that it bounces off that little train stopper there. And now we're going to see Shroud taking him down. All brought down to Robert to this point. He's going to clutch this one versus two, trying to move right into the site, but Cloud9's already moved into post-plant positions, and they're not really going to be able to find anyone. 
as Roberts now is just scouting to see if he can grab anyone. He does have a kit right now, so he can definitely play this out for a lot of time, but he's just going to find those players, and there you go. Nothing is able to get the spot. Roberts, unfortunately, stuck in a bad spot. Grabs a headshot on nothing, but he's running out of time, and Sean Garris knows that he's out of time now. We'll just run away from this site with only 11 HP. It doesn't look like he's going to be surviving. He's going to fall down, lose the M4, and once again, Cloud9 are just going to strike right back at these players here. And we'll bring it up to 4-1 in the favor of Cloud9. And that's also going to sort of save the economy here for Cloud9 as well. As you can see, things are getting a little bit drastic. They're still going to have to hand off a couple of weapons to teammates, but I think they're going to be good here. We'll see what nothing picks up, and I think they probably have a rifle on the ground for them. So they're going to resume themselves back onto the normal rifle buys. And actually, uninterrupted, they'll be resuming themselves back onto normal rifle buys. And Method as well here will be stuck down to just P250s. And they're pretty much going for a full save at this point. No nades or nothing from these guys at all, as they're only going to be picking up P250s and sticking with their standard pistols here. Rest of C9, they are going to drop down to the ladder room, and Freakazoid already in the site here. Shroud and Freakazoid again they are going to pick up two more frags. Silent and Roberts falling down because of that. They're just going to go right for the plan here. Mainline and Justin are still alive, but they're completely off the site now and won't be able to work too much. So we're going to see Shroud takes down Mainline, and now we're just down to this last player here, Justin, trying to play it off, but unfortunately with nothing to work and only a P250, that's going to be another round just... Really falling into the hands of Cloud9 as they're starting to rush ahead. Somewhat expected here. I would say Cloud9 definitely a little bit more favored to take this match, but Method able to respond on that rifle round, but from that point forward, unfortunately, Cloud9 just brought things them, has brought themselves right back into a good spot, and from there now we're looking at Method trying to rework things back into their favor. Won't be much of an effort to hunt down Justin as well. Justin trying to grab a couple more frags to see if he can, but that's not going to be happening. Shroud takes him down, but he's only going to lose that $300 P250, so not a big deal from him at all. And Cloud9 are going to take a another round here now. And Method as well. Stacking up a little bit, but I don't think they've got enough to where they would feel confident going for another buy just as of yet. So they are going to stick on pistols here one more time and just save themselves up once more so that they can have the full buy with full nades and everything. And they probably want to pick up an op here for Silent as well, so they want to make sure that he's got enough money for that. So one more save and one more loss, assuming that happens, of course, should be able to do it for them. But there's also that chance they could swing it back around here. But with the way Cloud 9 has been playing so far with these sort of open quarters, that might not be happening. But take a look at this pop out from Ely. He's going to be able to take out Freakers like Cloud 9. Not expecting that at all here. Mainline in the meantime is going to be able to take down Sean Garris. And we're also going to see Shroud eliminating Justin. So now we're down to a three versus three. Cloud9 still are going to try to work their way in here through Ivy at the moment. And at the moment here too, Method is already repositioning themselves. They're getting in the way of Cloud9. So that's going to hold them back quite heavily. And they have moved the bomb carrier back down Ivy here too. He's sitting outside in the event they would like to move someone else back. And over here, Roberts, I think, has caught on to this possibility. So he's going to push himself just outside to see if he's going to be able to grab any picks here of anyone that might be retreating back towards the T-spawn. I'll take a look at Skadoodoo, who is the bomb carrier here for Cloud9 at the moment as he pushes up once more. And now with only 45 seconds. Overall here, Cloud9 still with quite a bit to work with, but if they wait too much longer here, they are going to run low on time. So regardless, this is going to be a great round from Method. It's again, already picking off two players and stopping the possibly stopping the plant here. This could be big for them, and now... We'll see, too. Mainline is creeping up, trying to take that forward position. So he does have an AK. Not going to work out too well, though. As nothing grabs a nice, easy frag onto him, as he was low on HP at the time. Silent, however, sneaking up behind these players. This could be big. Not going to be able to grab nothing, unfortunately. Just misses that. It's a great turnaround from nothing. And then Roberts will also fall down, just missing another kill. Shroud and nothing. Both were sitting at very low HP, but at the end of the day, they are just sitting with those pistols. Method, unable to execute. And Cloud9, of course, are going to take another round. Now sitting at 6-1 against Method. And Method, of course, heading into another big rifle round here. So we'll see. Now that they're up against the same full arsenal, we'll see if they can work something against these players. Silent, once again, is also armed with this op, so that could be some big plays coming with that. But it's all going to be up to these guys. Can they counter out with Cloud9? As so far, their aggression has been fairly unmatched in this game. And if they lose it, once again, they're still going to have... After this one, actually, they'll still be on full losing bonus. But they might just have to go for yet another save. And... From Cloud9 here, as you can see, they're already starting to push up into Mainline at the moment. Shroud did get full flash, so he's looking a little bit ugly, but take a look at Mainline. He's just sitting inside of his smoke right now, right next to everyone on Cloud9. Moving forward, he's going to find Shroud. He's not going to be able to take out Sean Garris, and Skadoodle will thankfully be able to take him out. But now they know where the play is happening here. Silent pushing forward, not going to be able to get that full kill into nothing. Switch to the pistol, but won't grab it, and Skadoodle is actually going to take out nothing there. It's going to be a team frag. Silent pulling back, trying to take himself easy there, and the rest of Method now coming in to reinforce as well. This was a great spot by Mainline and great patience from him too. Now we're going to force the players from Cloud9 to fall back, dropping down into the ladder room. They're going to try to switch this up over onto A, but they're already waiting here at A as well. Roberts trying to duel them out with the rifle at the moment, and Justin is going to be able to take out Skadoodle, grabs the second frag as well, taking out Freakazoid, and now it's all down to Sean Garris. 
trying to work his way out of that same room, but not going to be happening as Robert's grabbing another frag for the team. That's going to be a great response for Method, and now they'll bring things up to 2-6. Once again, though, taking a look at the economy side of things for Cloud9. Cloud9 still looking okay with the exception of Freakazoid as he's sitting at about 3,000, but plenty of players still sitting at over 6k, so they should be able to drop a, drop another rifle for him, and they'll just pick up another buy round here. And I think even after this one, too, at least looking at someone like Freakazoid, they might be able to force up a little bit, but actually that's going to be changing here. Yep, if they lose this one, things obviously, again, are going to get a little bit of rough. Didn't have enough money saved up for everyone. I think we had quite a few deaths coming out here from Freakazoid in the rounds, too, so he had, he had not preserved too much of his economy, and that's obviously going to be hurting, but nothing over here. Taking out both of the aggressors, Justin and Roberts coming down Ivy, and Skadoodle as well is going to be able to eliminate Ely. So just like that, Cloud9 once again turning it back around, and now taking a look at both Silent and Mainline, the last two players alive. We'll see how they face off. Mainline is sneaking up on nothing at the moment, but not going to be able to get the spray pattern he wanted, and only going to bring nothing down to just 6-8 feet, so he's forced to fall back. Shroud takes him out nice and easy, and now we're down to just Silent. Silent's got an op, so definitely going to be looking to save that. But unfortunately, stuck in a one versus five, there's a lot of room for Cloud9 to trap him inside. And there you have it. Sean Garris is just going to take Silent right out of play. And Cloud9 again just returned right after that. Now we are going to see here, too, heading into the 10th round method, unfortunately, once again on their pistol, and again, a lot of this stuff to the more advanced guys is going to be a little bit obvious, but unfortunately, you have to take a look at things here, too, is although method is taking a, round, a couple of big rifle rounds here, unfortunately, they're failing to return on them, so they're getting good here, and fortunately, I think Cloud9 is just getting a little bit too comfortable with what ends up happening here. They just keep dominating them pistol rounds, and then when they finally pick up big guns again, they're just not ready for that sort of response, and obviously, the big plays for mainline here are going to factor into this as well, but unfortunately, Cloud9 really good from a mental perspective there, just get themselves right back into the swing of things after they lose that rifle round, and you can almost say here too that it's it's helping Cloud9 more than it's hurting them, because now they're just going to keep resetting the economy for Method, and they'll just constantly be brought back down to these full save rounds like we've had time after time, and you can see this once again, obviously that we did have Mainline grabbing that nice headshot frag with a P250 on a Sean Garris, so that's going to be taking him out, but as you'll see now, Robert's the last one alive, not a lot of damage done to Cloud9, and they've got the bomb down pretty inconsequentially, and there you go, Cloud9 ticking it Another one now sitting at two to eight, rocketing ahead so far and definitely favoring themselves pretty good here, officially winning the half and on the T side specifically, anything else from this point forward is going to be a bonus for them. And now as we take a look once more here, Method are going to force things up just a little bit here, Silent grabbing it off, but no armor, no additional pistol either. And then you look, and not everyone's even going to be able to pick up head armor. In fact, no one will be picking up head armor. Only two players, three players, apologies, will be grabbing any significant amount of grenades. So they are taking a big risk on buying this round. Hopefully, again, trying to catch Cloud9 off guard. Silent and Freakazoid are going to trade kills. Silent is going to be able to take out Sean Garris, but Freakazoid there as well is just going to be able to take him right out of play. Now, as you'll see here, too. One second, folks. For some reason, my Skype just turned itself back on. Now, as you are going to see here, too, the rest of the players from Method. They're trying to get themselves into a good spot to counter out Cloud9's movement as they are favoring a B push at the moment here. Only one player left alive. Taking a look at Ely right now as he does take a risk, popping out, grabs a nice frag as that's going to take out Shroud. And then Freakazoid over here as well. Nicely done there by Ely. Picks up the op and takes out Freakazoid. So now we're down to just two players left from Cloud9. And so far, this force by round is working out great for these guys. Forced now to reposition themselves over onto A. Nothing is way out in the field here right now. Scoodoodle as well trying to push up with the op. But Justin takes him right down there. Nicely played by him. Trying to grab the last frag onto nothing. And it should be easy. There you have it. Justin cleans up with the last two frags. And Method respond once more. Now only five rounds behind Cloud9. But just a few left here in the first half. Definitely good. And Again, if they can continue this trend, this is the big question now, is can they take two rifle rounds in a row? Now that they have gotten one here, it's going to be about grabbing that second one, because up to this point, they've only been able to get one each time, and if Cloud9 takes them down, again, their economy is just going to be destroyed, and Cloud9 will definitely have the last few rounds here of the half in the bag for themselves. Now you'll see, though, Justin... Pushing up a little bit here, but hesitating now. As we'll see, Cloud9 just do a 2 on 2 split. They are going to keep the bomb just outside A main entry point. Well, they move two more into the back of B once again, taking a look at Skadoodle and nothing here as well. They're also slowly trying to work their way now. There's going to be a boost attempt coming out here from Skadoodle now, but not going to be able to bear any fruit. As again, Method's still playing very passive on their CT side, trying to hang back and keep themselves out of harm's way to the best of their abilities. And so far, working out pretty good now, as they do also get the spot of these players that are working their way up. 
Uh, Ivy at the moment. They don't know how many, but I think they've got a pretty good feeling considering there was a boost. There should be at least two coming down that avenue. Now the big question is, are they going to be ready for this push coming in from Shroud, as well as Sean Garris here in just a second? And also keep in mind here, too, is that Freakazoid is getting ready to push in through either A man or B, depending on where they find frags, if any. But still, not really able to pick anything up too early here. Cloud9 still forced to sit in the initial positions they took on the offensive as Method as well, just sitting, kind of waiting for Cloud9 to make movements, and they're going to be forced into that here in just a couple seconds. Looks like it's probably going to be a, a numerous angle play as Sean Garris is looking like he's going to jump down here in just a second. Down inside a ladder room, and then we'll also see some A-Main play here too. Here it comes though, taking a look at Silent. He's probably going to be one of the first players in the fire. He does manage to spot Freakazoid there, so that's a good play. He's going to be able to save himself, but now catching on a Skadoodle there, and they're just going to go right for the plant. Freakazoid's already pushed up, and the bomb has gone down, but Silent's now going to get taken out. Mainline trying to rotate in, as is Justin Ely's right here on the side, and nothing though, no scope from Ely, but nothing thumbs in right back there. He's going to be able to take out Ely. Mainline as well will take down Shroud, and now we're looking at a two versus three retake here from the guys on Method. Trying to get themselves in, but Justin gets cornered, so he's going to get taken out. Mainline, nice headshot, takes out nothing, but there goes Sean Garris, pops out, not going to be able to take out Mainline, but thankfully Skadoodle's there to finish off the job. And once again now, same issue there for Method, is they're going to lose the second rifle round, and now their economy once again is reset. And Justin's got a little bit more money, as does Ely, but I don't really think that they're going to be able to pick up too much of that, and it doesn't even look like they're going to try to force up too much. Currently sitting again with just a CZ and Ely as well, only going to be picking up a 5-7, so they're just going to try and save things up here, wait again for a full buy, not going to want to risk it. It worked out one time, but again, they were unable to repeat that feat, so now they're just stuck back on pistols, and it might just, it's not even really worth it to buy something like an SMG, especially with how heavily Cloud9 has been favoring A play. So when you consider that, they're probably not going to get a lot of close range act, and the SMGs might not work out as well as they would hope it would. And now you'll see here, too, Mainline with just that measly P2K is on his lonesome here at the moment. Going to see what work he can do, but he's going to need some reinforcements which are on the way here now. Trying to hold off, but down he goes. Freakazoid and Shroud. I think the Shroud is actually going to be able to do B what kills him there. And now we'll see Silent as well, rotating himself back in as Cloud9 take full control of the site. Justin as well, sitting inside of the CT spawn, but Silent is going to be the first player to need some action here at the moment. Very, very patient, of course, and outside there, Shroud is about to connect with Justin as well. Silent catches him, and there he goes, takes him out, drops him down the ladder hole there, and down goes nothing. So now we're down to a two versus four, but obviously again here, players won't be poking too much. Justin creeps himself a little bit too heavily into the site, and Silent again, probably just happy with that AK grab. He's going to be sitting back, and he'll take that into the 14th round now as Cloud9 will take a fairly hefty lead. And oh, there's Silent's all freaking slow there. Looks like he's seen him through the door, but hiding out just inside of the back B should be a great area for him to chill out, and no one's going to be able to find him here. And there you go, 310 now. And they are going to pick up quite a few guns off of Cloud9 corpses there too, as they were able to take out they were able to take out a player and grab a gun from them. So they'll be looking at an M4 as well as an op being picked up now by Ely. Interestingly enough, Silent usually the main opper, but for some reason that they're actually not going to be handing that over to Silent. So they're going to have Ely taking on that role now. Is he's just going to push right out here into mid? And it looks like a quick play from Cloud9 too. Ely tries to go for the blind shot as he is flashed, but it doesn't connect there. Misses a second one too, so not going to be too good. But Justin holding off very well is going to be able to grab down Freakus. It's taken out there with a jump shot from Shroud, though, as he pushes in with the rest of his team now. Here come the rest of the players here. Streber's going to be able to take out Shroud. Skadoodle takes out Streber, and now Mainline's going to eliminate Sean Garris. Skadoodle takes out Mainline. Ely's once again going to fall, and now everything falls onto Silent once again here. As he's stuck in a one versus two. Com definitely not lose, or definitely not completely unwinnable. But with all the time, he has given Cloud9 to take positions. Nothing's just going to crawl right back up there. And that will take out Silent, so... Overall here, definitely not the best half for Method, regardless of the outcome of this round. And again, they're really just going to be stuck on P250. They're really just going to be stuck on pistols again here. Just force themselves to buy out pretty much whatever they can at this point. Seeing a Deagle for Mainline, a Scout coming out there from Justin, and a couple 5.7s across the board here too. Head armor for all players, so that's going to be good. And as well, quite a few players are going to be able to pick up nades to work with. But when you challenge that against full rifles here from the members of Cloud9, really not too much you're going to be able to do against that. And especially at this point too, it's not even really worth it to try and grab frags as the economy game is over for this half. But Robert's coming out there, grabs a headshot on Scootle before nothing takes him out. Sean Garris as well is going to be able to grab another frag here on his silent. But he ends up falling back, and here comes the jump up from Shroud there to assist 
So we're going to see that push coming into B here in just a couple seconds. Not sure if Mainline made the call just as of yet as under the rest of Cloud9 here too. Thankfully, Method decided to stay on this site, but now you're going to see Shroud taking out Ely. And we're down to a two versus three here. Justin's still up up in the tower at the moment with that scouts. We'll see if he can do any damage. Connects one shot on the Shroud. Not going to do too much though, but now here come the Mollies. He's got to get himself out of there. Interestingly enough, I think both Mollies actually missed. Yeah, none of them actually connected onto the upper tower there, so they're not going to be able to hit. They're not going to be able to force him out. And now Justin's actually going to grab more frags. He's going to be able to take out nothing. Nice positioning by Shroud, though, as he's going to bring him down to just 7 HP, and this should be a fairly easy cleanup from this point forward, and we're probably going to be looking at a 4-11 half year with Cloud9 looking great coming off of their, uh, or not apologies, not 4-11, 12-3, with Cloud9 coming off pretty good here of their T half, and again, switching over to CT, which is probably the more favored half based off of opinions I've been seeing rolling around more recently. I haven't played this map enough to formulate my own opinion on it yet, but I'm fairly certain to say it is rather CT-sided, so Cloud9 again heading on to the other half. Basically, if Method loses their pistol round on T-side, it's gonna be GG from that point forward in my opinion, but we'll see, as again, Method definitely, although they are definitely one of the lower lower ranked teams at the moment here in Pro League, I have seen them on their way up from coming up from things like uh, the... Uh, coming up from things like Premier and whatnot, they have been doing quite a bit of good work against the teams at that level. So overall, definitely not a terrible team, and they've pulled off quite a few miraculous comebacks against teams at their level in the past. But now the question is, of course, are they going to be able to repeat those same feats here against a much higher skilled team like Cloud9? That's going to be the big question, which is going to have to be answered here as soon as these players are ready to start off with that second half. But overall, Cloud9 looking very, very good at the moment. And again, with their CT side being as strong as it is... Method's got a lot of work to do, to say the least. But here we go, second half getting started now. And for those of you just joining us once again here, this is Cloud9 versus Method here on ESEA 2. My name is Blue. I'm one of the newer casters here at ESEA. And I am covering this as a quick solo cast tonight just to make sure that we can give you all the Pro League games we can here on the stream. As again, there was another match going on, and there is still another match going on at the same time over on the main ESEA channel. So if you'd like to go check that out as well, you can go ahead and do so. But. If you're a fan of Cloud9, or Method for that matter, stick around as we still have another half. And we are getting started with the pistol round right now. So taking a look at it here, seeing what Method is going to do. Seeing a lot of play heading into the back of B right now. Coming outside of the ladder and just trying to see if they can work. Can be taken out here, so they're going to try to smoke themselves in. So there might actually be a little bit of a fake coming out as you can see here. Actually, not a fake actually, it's Justin and Neely are actually going to work their way into that. And... We'll probably see the other players jump down the ladder, so they're going to try and work this same take that Cloud9 tried a couple rounds ago where they worked him from ladder as well as in main, but nothing already grabbing two frags just like that. Down go Ely and Justin here, up to try to pick up a third, but finally gets taken down by Silent, and here comes Freak with the duelies. Can he get some work done? Silent falls to the duelies, and Shroud's going to pick up another one as he takes out Roberts. That was the main line, the last player left alive, hiding inside of the ladder room right now. Won't be long before he's spotted, and there you go. Shroud's gonna pick up another one there, so Shroud and nothing, both grabbing two kills for themselves. And down goes the bomb, so Cloud9 take the piss around, and that's all she wrote. So Method now in a very not too good spot. I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to avoid all inevitabilities to say that they're completely done at this point, but we shall see. And Freakazoid as well as we take a look. He's going to be picking up SMGs. Pretty much everyone on Cloud9 going for the SMGs. Nothing going to take a little bit of risk going for the M4 here. So he's going to completely buy himself out. As will Skadoodle, granted. But we'll see once again what they're able to work with that now. As everybody's on their way out. Into the train yard. And the rest of Method, however. Trying to work themselves into back B. And that's going to be a great frag coming out there actually. As now we'll see Mainline drop down to just 13 HP. And Method unfortunately already hurt by quite a bit. And there you go. Nothing. And Shroud already onto the board for themselves here. Freaks are pushing up as well. He's just going to wing to eliminate Justin. And in fact, no, Shroud's going to be the one that grabs both of those last frags. So Method not even going to grab a kill there in that second round of the second half. And now again, Cloud9 only two more rounds away from taking this map. Looking very, very good indeed. As unless Method is going to force by, which is indeed the case. They got the bomb done in the first round. So they are going to be able to get themselves a little bit of money. You can see too that everyone except for Ely will still be able to pick up Head Arbor. But not a lot of utilities, not a lot of utility needs coming out here for these players either. As both Roberts along with Silent are now sitting with only the, the only smokes for this team and everybody else is just on flashes. So they've got to come out huge with their aim battles here. Otherwise, they're not going to make any traction and this game's going to be completely over. But a nade kill start things off here as nothing's going to be able to take out Trevor. Nothing again grabs the second one as he takes out Silent and there comes Kadoodle and Trout as well. 
They just completely eliminate the roster here from Method. And now Cloud9 just sits at 15 points. Method, they're completely broke here. They're going to be able to pick up a little bit now, but again, it's not going to be enough. And now they're on a Tech 9 armor for the 15th round. Or Cloud9 is only one point away from taking this match against Method. And Method now sits at only three points. They need to be completely perfect for the next 12 rounds. Otherwise, Cloud9 and taking it and again with Tech 9s and Deagles on the on the arsenal here for Method, it's not looking too good for these guys, so they're just going to try that back B play once again. Did not really go too well for these guys. But now you're going to see here as well, Trial just tosses that nade in once again, does a lot of damage to Silent, but you can see there too that it's actually going to be Skadoodle that pushes up. Taze, the price for it though, as Roberts will be taking him down and trying to get myself onto a good angle. Sorry, I'm still getting used to spectating there too. Nothing though, coming out big here just outside of the connector. He's going to be able to try and even out the odds. Freakazoid as well will take down Alien. Nothing again with another frag kill. Down falls Silent. Everything's on mainline at this point and mainline's got only a Deagle and 22 HP. No Juan Deeks for him. So Sean Garish just takes out mainline and that's going to be it, folks. So that's a quick game for you. Cloud9 will be taking things. 16 to 3 is the final score. And that will be the end of it, folks. And I think as well that that's going to conclude the very quick broadcast for tonight here. So if you guys want to check out the other game that's still going on, you can go ahead and tune into twitch.tv slash ESCA for the other match. And I believe we'll just host it after this one, too. That's it, though. And I don't believe we'll have any more. And again, I. I see a couple people in the chat asking for me and my Twitter and stuff, so if you guys like to follow me, you can go ahead and follow me over at at BLUCSGO. Once again, that's going to be at BLUCSGO. And beyond that, thank you all very much if you guys... Uh, thank you all very much, guys, for tuning into the Pro League, and hopefully we will see you later in the week for some more matches. Apologies for any stuttering, as it was still a casting tonight, and sorry again for my horrid spectating, as I'm still learning to do that. But beyond that, once again, thank you very much, and we'll catch you on the next stream, folks. Have a good one.